So in this video, we are now going to learn how the attention mechanism works for RNNs and how this relates to the transformer architecture. So previously, we saw that we can't simply translate a sentence word by word because yeah, the grammar structure could be lost in this case. This is why for RNNs, we use this many-to-many sequence-to-sequence approach where we have this delayed output. However, as a shortcoming of this, the recurrent neural network has to memorize a lot of information in this one hidden state. However, this approach unfortunately does not work very well with longer sequences or sentences. And this is why researchers developed the attention mechanism to address this problem. So the attention mechanism for recurrent neural networks was first proposed in 2014. And we are going to briefly discuss how it works. So the key idea here is to create context vectors that contain information about the whole input sequence. And then we are using these so-called attention scores to weigh the importance of each word at each current output step. So let's see how this works step by step. So for this approach, the researchers used a word level RNN that processes one word at a time. So we go from input sequences here to the encodings to the hidden states. However, here the researchers used a so-called bidirectional RNN. This simply means that we have two RNN layers. One reads the sentence from left to right, and the other layer reads the sentence from right to left. So in a bidirectional RNN, what we then do is we concatenate these two different hidden representations, the forward and the backward representation. So for example, if the hidden representation of the forward and the backward paths are both 128 dimensional each, the concatenated representation would be 256 dimensional. To go then from the hidden representations to the context vector, we multiply each hidden representation with an attention score and then sum them up. So essentially we are computing a weighted sum here using the attention scores for the weighting. So in this video, we are not going to discuss in detail how the attention scores are computed. In this particular paper though, I can tell you they use the multilayer perceptron. For transformers, we use a concept called self-attention or scaled dot product attention, which we will cover in way more detail in the future. So for now, just consider these attention scores as given and we use them as weights to create the context vector. So the attention mechanism for RNNs is actually pretty complicated and we just covered one part of it, the first recurrent neural network, the bidirectional RNN. So this first part, RNN number one, is used to compute these context vectors, which we just discussed. Now there is also the second part, the RNN number two, which actually generates the outputs, the translated sentence. So in a regular RNN, the many-to-many -many RNN, we have this decoder, which only receives the hidden output from the previous time step. Now, in addition to this hidden state from the previous time step, we also have this context vector as input, and that's how the RNN can learn to understand what the input sentence is at each time step. So one important detail to note here is that the attention scores are position specific. So in this part, we have the second output that we are looking at. So these attention scores are unique to the second output. And the reason is that for each word we generate, for each word that we translate, we may have to pay attention to different words in the input sentence. So here we see a visualization of the attention score matrix from the paper where they had a French English translation task. And we can see in the diagonal, the attention scores are very strong for the one-to-one -one word correspondence. So this would be a sentence that can be translated almost word by word. However, we can see that there are a few exceptions where the attention scores are high outside the diagonal. So the network here learns to pay attention to certain words in the input that don't have a one-to-one -one correspondence to the output words. Or in other words, the focus is not always on the current input words. We also have to pay attention to the other words in the input. But yeah, enough about RNNs. Let's actually switch back to transformers. And in the next video, we will be discussing how we can compute the attention weights in the context of the transformer architecture.